Hi guys, here's a little video on how to check and possibly replace your solenoid if your engine batteries are not charging your house batteries. The location for the solenoid is right behind here. But to get to said location, you just got to remove the battery step here by lifting up the little silver catch and plopping it down. It will then lift up and slide towards you. You would then be able to pull the little tab on the cover. That will pull towards you. And you can remove that and set that aside. I would suggest before starting this project is to wrap any metal tools you have in tape, preferably electrical tape. I have not used electrical tape as this is the only tape I had to hand but I would suggest um, good decent electrical tape to prevent from sparks and shorting out etc etc. Now the next plan is to remove the cover which two thumb screws, a couple of turns till they stop, pull it towards you. Now to remove this panel just remove the two Phillips head screws, one on the right and one on the left. Once you have the two screws removed, you will then just be able to pull the panel forward. There will be no, should be no resistance, and you can then see the two solenoids in the back. I would at this point suggest to move the step back into where it was, just so this panel does not fall down and short out your batteries. Like so, you can then stretch the wires a tiny bit, making sure you don't stretch them too far until they disconnect themselves. Okay, the next step once you have the cover off is to test the connections with a multimeter. I just have a basic, I think it's like 50 bucks, maybe less, uh, multimeter. And on the DCV setting, I just set it to 20, which will be perfect because you shouldn't go over 14, 14 and a half volts. So that should be enough for now. Okay, let's test that it's actually getting power. So on the left hand side as you see it, put your positive on the red wire and your negative on the brown wire at the back. And I have the engine running at the moment, so I can see what's going on. And I can see that I'm getting 14.4 volts, if you can see that. I think you just about got it on the multimeter. So. Let me check the other side and see what's going on. Okay, so I've checked the other side, a little hard to do with the camera. So I've done it and it's 12.5 on the right hand side. So therefore it is not getting the, the voltage through the solenoid. I also have checked the brown wire at the front. The one you can see on the camera with the little blue connector on it. And that was also getting 14.4. So that will tell me that the solenoid is no longer and needs to be replaced. So off I go to get a replacement. See you later. So once you've removed all the connections, the two large red wires on the left and right hand side and the two brown wires, one at the back left and one at the front, you can then undo the screws at the back holding it on and it should just slide right out. So. I'm back from the parts store and I've installed the new part which is a direct replacement. Uh, it can be found, I found it in Napa with a part number of ST95. Uh, I'll put a link in the description below. Um, so I've started the engine, I've turned back on the auxiliary battery switch and I'm getting 14 volts on the right hand side. And I've checked the panel to see what my house batteries are and there are 14 volts in charging. So, successful job and uh, only about 50 bucks. Lovely, thanks for watching. Don't forget to like, subscribe, and share with your friends. Bye bye for now.